right, so we got something pretty cool for you guys today. We're gonna be helping Gavin achieve his lifelong goal of driving a three-wheeler underwater. He's tried this multiple times and he's failed, but uh, we, <laughs> we, 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 I mean, we blame the equipment. You don't have a big wrench back home to- Don't have a big wrench. You know, work on making something Our possible numbers like were this. So we filled the tires with sand. We got obviously this long snorkel with the gas up top. And then on top of that, we got the best scuba gear that we could buy without having a scuba certified license. <laughs> Thank you, internet. So basically the plan is he's gonna start over here and uh, end somewhere over there. It's over there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you wondering why a three-wheeler for the vehicle of choice, these like 80s model three-wheelers are pretty much bulletproof. You can pretty much drive them into the water and they're gonna keep running just fine. So with a little bit of help of the snorkel, I don't see what could go wrong. Basically the only thing that could go wrong is the motor taking in water. But if our math is correct and, and all of our fittings are tight, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> But in Seaboy's fashion, it probably will, but we'll find out. We have full confidence in this one, man. <laughs> Gavin's got more confidence than everyone, but no. well, honestly, I, I think this is gonna work. <laughs> All right, time to go deep, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All right, to where no three-wheeler has ever gone before. She died. She must have got a little leak somewhere. Let's get it out. Let's get it out. Let's waste some time. Waste some time. She'll fire right back up. I thought you seemed a little too confident that this thing was gonna work first try. I was feeling really good about it, but it's just, oh, it's so hard every time. You're okay. telling me that these 85 Honda three wheelers aren't meant to drive underwater? Hey, no, they are. She wants it so bad. Does she? Like it's gonna make me mad. Really mad. It probably would have started if it was a Yamaha. What'd you just say? <laughs> just give me a minute with my Honda. I'll bring her back. This thing hardly runs on land. I can't believe they think it's gonna run underwater. Bro, I think we need a better running three-wheeler if we're gonna do this. We have bad gaskets here on the carb right now, and that's what's, that's what's holding us back, I think. We're working with a 40-year-old machine. Yeah, that, that's what's hurting us right now. All right, guys, so after messing with the three-wheeler for quite a long time, we figured out the issue with it is that it's a three-wheeler from the 80s, and it's not meant to go underwater. So we picked up a vehicle that is a little bit more meant to go, at least in the water, and uh, we got this four-wheeler that had a snorkel up to about here, and then we extended the snorkel and everything else another seven or so feet, so she should be good up to 10 feet, and then we added close to 800 pounds of weight to make sure that she stays on the bottom of the ground. I don't want to jinx anything, but I think this time it should work. Gavin wasn't too stoked find out that we were using a four-wheeler for it, so we had to send him home. We didn't send him home, he went home. He, he went left. home, yeah, he went home. He didn't want to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty pissed off that we would even consider doing a four-wheeler, but we're trying to make this work, so gotta do what you gotta do. I think you're doing it, dude. <laughs> wow. All right, we got a ways to go still. Woo! This is crazy, bro. I cannot believe this. All right, we're going under. Oh, this is unbelievable. It's actually working. You barely even hear it. It's because it's underwater, Ken. One of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. Yeah. He's turning. He needs to go this way, doesn't he? He's gonna hit the boat, Ken. <laughs> Where's he going? This is insane, dude. <laughs> this is amazing. I think the uh, only thing we didn't take into account is that me and Ryan are terrible swimmers. Yeah. <laughs> Cameraman can't keep up. <laughs> Oh my God, this is so hard swimming. Yeah! I can't <laughs> believe 
how well that worked, and I don't think we could have gotten 30 more seconds out of that belt. No. I don't think so either. You looked like a train coming in, dude. That was the most fun I think I've ever had. It felt like I was MacGyver <laughs> yeah. for discovering the open world underneath the sea, dude. Yo, dude, I can't believe how well that worked. Unlike any experience I've ever had, I'm not joking. That was cool as shit. Come on, Ben. <laughs> we're good, we're good. You trying to pull an Evan here? All right, so you guys know we love golf carts. They're honestly some of the most used and trusted vehicles in the fleet. Uh, well, in the last reckless golfing video, somebody drove this golf cart into a tree and it messed up the entire front of it. So we're using that as a good excuse to put a lift kit and bigger wheels on it. I'm extremely excited to see what Evan can accomplish and get done with the golf cart that's lifted. You could almost just run my Raptor over this time. Let's throw it on. There really isn't much to this as you would expect a golf cart lift to be. This just goes in the front, I think just blocks in the back. This thing's gonna be jacked up. 23 by 10s are almost bigger than the ones on your Raptor. We're finally doing our builds right. We're figuring out this red specs. All right, we're just about done with the golf cart build. Before we finish it up and put it on the ground, I wanna give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Celsius. We love Celsius around here and we think that you guys will too. So if you see it in your local gas station or convenience store, take it off the shelf and try it and uh, let us know what you think. Yep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so good. Oh my God, we need run for it. Well, she doesn't have a whole lot of uh, suspension travel, or any, actually, so I don't think the ride got much easier, but she should be able to go over more stuff. Dude, it looks so much bigger with Evan driving it. I'm like two inches shorter than you, Ben. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so while we were building that, the whole 30 minutes it took, Big Wrench took the governor off of this one, and uh, he said it is like scary fast. It might be the fastest golf cart on the streets. Not too much competition around here, but we'll see how much faster it is than that one now. He also took the governor off this one though. It's gonna be a drag race now. Is Evans faster? Dude, I GPS the one that Ben's driving, it'll do third. Dude, this thing is capable. It's really capable. Oh! <laughs> Dude, poor cat, his cart's half as fast. He's just eating dust the whole time. Why is this thing doing like 10 times better than any of our mud trucks have done? Dude, it looks so badass right there. <laughs> this must be how like Jeep owners feel. I'd say very similar. It does about all the same things. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm a little confused about what we're uh, what we're looking at. CJ said there's no danger. I see a spinny sharp object. <laughs> all right, boys, this is Jared. And this is Jared's paraglider. Okay. <laughs> You guys know what a paraglider is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't seem excited. <laughs> it seems scary to me. I don't know what I'm getting into. <laughs> so basically what a paraglider is, is you sit on it right here, and then you got a parachute above, and the parachute keeps you up, and this propels you forward. Okay. So we didn't bring you guys here to uh, have you try it. Oh, good. This <laughs> thing is sick. <laughs> I love it. You guys aren't the victims today, but the other two guys that aren't here are. 
perfect. Okay. <laughs> I like being on this side of it. So for the viewers' context, Ryan's little sister, Sydney, is dating Micah. And uh, we like to, you know, poke fun at it and make jokes about it. But the situation is just too good to not pull a prank on both of them today. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And that is why Jared is here. So we had this little sign made up. <laughs> <laughs> it might be too much. <laughs> it really might be. Ryan might lose it. <laughs> so the prank is on Micah, because obviously he is not aware that he is asking Sydney, his girlfriend, to marry him. So he's going to be extremely rattled. And then Ryan is also going to be like, holy shit, Micah is getting married to my sister without asking me or telling me and finding it all out at the same time. He might pretend to be excited. He's not gonna be, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Should be pretty good. Everyone's in on the joke, except for Ryan and Micah. Yeah, so we also told Sydney too. So like we asked her oh, first, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna take the boat out on the lake over here. Mike thinks that we're just going out to celebrate our friend Mark's birthday. Little does he know he is in for a proposal. <laughs> do you need a license for this? No license, don't need what? it. What? Any random person can do it. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Wow. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Wild shit. This is crazy. This guy's nuts. I thought he was gonna hit the ground on that first turn. He's gonna grab that off that stick. Yeah. Oh my god. This is an extravagant proposal. We're gonna be wedding planners after this. You ready? I almost bought one of those ones. Really? <laughs> yeah, of course. Taxi dragon. Yeah, flag. Is it sad? I don't know. This is my name. Oh my god. <laughs> Who is oh! that? I am joking. I didn't know this was happening. Wait, what? No, you're right. You didn't know this was happening, but we did. Oh. <laughs> Even you did? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. And Ryan did? <laughs> no, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Jeez. I'll give a guy a heart attack. I was like, oh man, here we go. I kept looking right. over. I go, well, when's this well, asshole yeah. going to get on his head? <laughs> I think Ryan might be more rattled than Mike Dude. right now. Ryan's not rattled now, he's relieved. He was rattled, <laughs> now we're relieved. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>